Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft. We we have a spyglass now. This thing. Totally useful, right? Definitely do not have a feature already that allows us to be fair, like spyglass in and then you zoom with Optifine. It's like level. Can't even focus it. It's basically impossible is what I'm saying. Um, last episode, we built this wonderful staircase here. Like, wonderful. Look at, look at how long it is. It takes, it's so great. It's beautiful. Point being, it is actually awesome. Um, this staircase will be touched on later. We're not touching it today because, well, I gotta, like, I gotta, like, draw things out a little bit. Because I can't go too quick, otherwise it just, you know what I mean, like, ugh, internet stuff. <laughs> um... Yeah, but we built the staircase, we did all the archways for it. I do want to add some extra detail to the edges at some point. Give it a more three-dimensional feel, because right now it is kind of flat. Um, but if you've noticed already, good job. This is not the same as it usually is. Um, well, I built it out. Like, I worked through it, and I built out this entire area. And by entire area, I mean I spent about 15 building a little thing that has now grassed over for the most part you're gonna be building and you might say why would you build a cave there's plenty of caves there's, there's literally there's one over there and there's one back there and there's another one that i covered up there's probably over there and there's probably one inside this yet there's literally one right up there but this cave's gonna be different it's not gonna be like a literal like cave cave well, okay it is gonna be a cave but the cave cave is gonna lead into two things. The plan right now, this is gonna bother me if I don't make it normal. Um what? Hold on. I gotta I gotta get myself some uh, dirt because if I don't I might just lose my mind over this and then you, know, you want that, right? We're gonna have a natural area that looks nice and pretty and just generally great. And then we're gonna have a more um I guess mechanical area. I don't I don't wanna call it that because it's not that. Not mechanical at all, but we're gonna make some like underground like, mining tunnels that are both practical and like look interesting. And so we're gonna dig this hole out basically, and then we're gonna build a little area at the bottom where we can split it off into the mining area and the natural area. I'm kind of just like debating between whether I'm just gonna do a Y split or we're gonna have like a main area that then splits off into one direction. We'll figure that out when we get down there. So I'm going to get digging. And we should get some music started because I think it's going to be a bit of a time lapse. So we have built the first part of the cave. Um, that is, at least, we've dug down this way and we've dug down this way. I did decide to do a Y split. This is just going to go off into the mines here. And we're going to have a nice uh, front end to it. That'll go down. That is the same Y level as the tunnel all the way over there. And then down here, I was digging and I was planning, literally right here when I found this spot, I was planning on digging out a big pit and making the little like area. And then... It kind of just opened up on its own into this huge cave. Um, so we're just going to kind of use this because it's, well, significantly easier than digging out an entire cave by hand. Because why would I want to do that when I can literally just use this? Um, with that said, we're not just going to leave it like this. We're going to make it look pretty. So what that means we need to do is I'm realizing all the stuff I've got is not nearly enough, which is the norm for this. Um, so we need to go and get a significantly larger amount of bone meal. And I got some bones, which, that yeah, that gives me a good chunk of bone meal, but I do need quite a bit more. 
Um, we're going to go over here to the farm, as you do. And we're going to get, well, exactly that, more bone meal. Um, and to do that, we're just going to just farm. Um, is the best way for me to get bone meal without a skeleton farm, which I should... I need to get a mob farm at some point. Um, is just to do this. All right, we're back at the cave. We've got 54 bone meal and a lot of other stuff. We've got moss and flowering azaleas and spore blossoms and glowberries. That's what we need, right? I want the top of this to be fairly like stone and fairly uh, like what's the word? Not barren. That's the word I'm looking for. I don't want it to be too overgrown. Because I want it to be obvious that it's that splits off into the mine and this is something that's like occurring, not like I don't want it to look man made theoretically. So, my thought is that I'm gonna start the um moss blocking down a little bit and I want it to kind of just like form up as you go up the entire length of the thing. So, I don't want it to be, I want it to be much more spread out up here than it is down there. And I think that's a really important detail, is that as you come up, the moss just becomes less common. We can also use the moss carpets for this. Um, probably not there, though. I'm um, in, like, areas like this, and then maybe, like, one all the way up here. Right? Just something to indicate that there is, indeed, something going on down there. Um... And then maybe a, a glowberry here, and a glowberry there. It would be fun to place on the emeralds, yeah. So I'm not planning on harvesting. It actually needs emeralds, really. Um, and we'll place a bush there. Actually, I want to get the other bush there. All right. And then the whole point is that we just go down this, and you just. Oh well. It works better if there's not a moss carpet there. Um. You basically go down the whole thing and you just start bone mealing and this is the lovely thing about moss is that you can make something that looks really good with surprisingly minimal effort um like really surprisingly minimal effort all right that gives us plenty of glowberries to work with um yeah, so I don't want this to look exactly like a lush cave, but I do want it to have that kind of vibe to it. I want it to look very, like, uh, not overgrown. Um, it's not the word I'm looking for, but very natural. Like, it's, like, it's been there for years. Um, we'll put some vines, let them grow. We'll definitely have a vine here. Um, and one over here. Honestly, probably a glowberry there, too. Um, get rid of that. And then add some vines there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Um, <laughs> just filled in that whole area. I do want to work on the ambience a little bit, so we're going to definitely have a spore blossom or two in here. Um, this is going to be a little area where we're going to carve this out. And we're going to turn this into a really cool spot. We're going to build like a pond. Um, at least that's the intent. Because I feel like that uh, we've got all those axolotls, right? And I want somewhere to put them that's interesting and like kind of has a vibe to it where they're not just like sitting in like an aquarium tank or something or just around in the middle of somewhere random because it just doesn't really work i want to create this deep pond i've got all these sea pickles too so we're really gonna be able to work with this area but we do need definitely about are some glowberries on the ceiling because this is gonna brighten the room up a bit especially once those start to grow down a little bit and then we can get the actual light sources on them it's also a great way for me to harvest some gravel something i do not have a lot of, as a matter of fact. Um, so. Yeah, we're gonna carve this area out as a pond. 
and it's not gonna be a huge one. I'm gonna, it's gonna be rather, like, it's not gonna be tiny. It's gonna be a medium-sized pond. It's not gonna be huge. It's not gonna be like a lake by any means, but it is gonna be a nice-sized area where the axolotls can hang out, and the other creatures that I might decide to put in here later can just enjoy themselves, have a good time, cool off down here and we can even come down here and just relax and sit and do whatever you do in an area like this um relax and sit pretty much are the two options <laughs> um yeah it is it is a little hard to see all things considered um because the light hasn't come in yet i might just place some torches here for the time being just to keep the brightness levels up all right we're gonna carve back into this a little bit. All right, so this is the like the base area, and then you just gotta terraform the roof a little bit. Like I don't want to do too much work. I kind of do want to leave the shape of this area, but I also like don't want it to be just like really basic. I do need to go and get some water, um, fill this area, but this will be a really good spot, I think, generally. And I think it'll look really great when it's done. Uh, okay, so I'm going to just time, not time lapse, but time warp a little bit until this is all done. And I will see you guys in a sec. All right, it's done. Well, almost done. For the most part, we're still, we're still waiting on a couple things. We have some uh, more glow berries that are growing in the back and doing their thing. Um, and then this corner over here, I want to do something with this really quick. For the most part, it's done. At least this area of it. This this will be done later. But this area of it is at least done. Um, and it's ready for our little friends. And surprisingly enough, most of this stuff was done by hand. Eh, I want to say most. I'd say maybe 50%. Right? All the pickles, of course, are by hand. A lot, all these leaves and things are by hand. And all this is by hand. And all the glowberries are by hand. And a lot of the plant placement is by hand. Except for these. But... And this stuff, but most of this was done by hand, um, rather than just bone mealing it because I felt it was just a little bit more accurate and it worked out a little better. What I want to do is replace this back corner with a uh, calcite, and that's just so that it can be like a contrasty difference. I also want to like bring it up a little bit, so this way you get a uh, kind of a different area. Something that's not quite the same as everything else around it. And I don't want it to be like sticking out and like crazy obvious, but I do want it to be noticeable to the point where you might go, oh, what's that back there? And go and have a look. And I thought it could be fun to also just put a little bit of amethyst around this area. Make it look like it's almost uh, a, like a mini version of the geodes. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to put some of this in here. And then we will call this area done and dusted, I think. If you swim back to go have a look, let's see how it looks from here. Yeah, right? So you can kind of see it. Just in the corner, it looks really interesting. And then you might go and explore and check that out. Um... But what we do need to do is make sure that we get at least one glowberry back here, and then we will snip the rest of those vines at some point. This definitely needs a glowberry probably there. Um, but yeah, all these vines up here have been snipped, I think. That one has not been snipped. That's why it's still growing. Um, but the rest of them have been snipped. Um, do the age 25. This way they won't grow any longer. And then we have one of the spore blossoms here and one of the spore blossoms here so that when you sit here, you can't see them. You just see the particles. And I really love that. I think it adds a lot of ambiance to the area. The last step is to add... Um, oh, wait. Oh, God, I just had a much better idea for these names. Hold on. All right, so originally I had... Two okay names and then just John. So I had just John, and then I had Bartholomew and Sir Ginger Snap. Um, and then reading John, I went, "Why am I not doing this?" And now we've got John, Paul, and George. Now we just need Ringo. But like the bits there, right? 
Um, so we've got John, Paul, and then uh, George. And these are our axolotl buddies. What we will need to do is make sure they don't escape this way, at least for the time being. So, I don't want to cover it off that way. Let's just cover it off with some dirt. Um, call it good. That way they don't escape. I don't think they'll try and go this way anyway, because all the water's over here and everything. But yeah, John, Paul, and George are here. And look at this. They're having so much fun. If they're enjoying themselves, they're having the time of their lives. Actually, I want to get a, a really cool screenshot from here. I think this needs to be one shorter. Is this still 25? No, it's two. Yep. Well, now that I've got all my thumbnails and just made you guys sit through that because it was funny. Uh, yeah, I love this. This is so pretty. Like, I really, I genuinely really like this a lot. I know I say that a lot about builds that I make, but every, every, every one I make gets better and better. Well, not better and better, but more enjoyable, I would say. It adds to the whole aesthetic as a whole. Um, but with that, I can't even see myself through these vines. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.